April snowstorms bring calves. We're in a snowstorm winter weather watch. I don't really know, but it's really crummy out here. Um, it's April 4th today. We were supposed to start calving March 29th and um, we, we had four early calves and our first, you know, past due date calf dropped today with the snowstorm. Um, my husband came out and checked and there was nothing. He came out a couple hours later, there was a calf. So he had to go to work. I just got home from work. My dad's here. He called me on my way home. I'm actually, I have a bottle tucked in here. You probably can't see, but we're gonna go make sure this calf is sucking and make sure that everyone's living. So he's putting another corn stalk bale out because I mean, it's just, the wind is just whipping. It's not real cold, but it is just, it's not nice. So the cow that calved is the longhorn mix that we've got. Um, and she's not a real nice mama. But anyway, they got the calf and it's in the barn. I'm gonna turn the screen around so maybe we can see a little. So it's, no, Veronica, go, no, no, no. I got no treats right now. So it's over there, it's that little white dot. We'll get a closer look once he gets back um, from giving that straw bale or that corn stalk. But it is not nice out. And I kind of thought this is how it was gonna go is that um, we didn't have any calves on our actual like, you know, days after and on our due date. And now there's snowstorm today that's gonna go into tomorrow. And then Thursday's a full moon. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a busy couple of days. Um, hopefully everything goes smoothly, but I mean, obviously, the most I can do is watch them the most that we can and that's all we can do um because we can't we don't have a big enough facility to have everyone in the barn but we're gonna try our best to make sure that we catch everything that we absolutely can and take care of the babies the best that we can so we don't lose anyone um we don't lose any mamas I don't know what this store snowstorm is gonna bring for sure I do know that they were calling for like 15 inches of snow um but there's some rain mixed in there too so We'll see, but anyway, we're gonna work on getting this baby some classroom and get it a good start. My dad's a international guy, so it's gotta be painful for him to be in that John Deere. Well, we're almost done with the bottle. It's just over a pint um, of colostrum. She took a little, or I don't even know if it's he or she, but it took a little tumble when I grabbed it and put it in the squeeze chute because um, I grabbed it by the back leg. And mom was just not super nice. Like she's not a really nice girl. So um, anyway, it took a little tumble, but we're almost done with the bottle of colostrum, which makes me happy because then it gets a good start and then I don't get so worried about it with its energy go, baby. It's always fun when there's a snowstorm involved, plus a crabby mama who's trying to get out of the pen and a baby that's like not quite getting it. Um, but anyway, I'm just happy that this calf drank, is drinking, and then it can go back with its crazy mama because <laughs> she ain't happy. She's nice and warm. I keep calling it a she. I don't know what it is. Um, it's nice and warm. It It's wet still, um, but its mouth feels warm. So for that, I'm happy. Oof, mom is not happy with me. I gotta be quiet. It's all right. She's giving me the death glare right now. I'm gonna give it a shot of probios. But let's get in this next. Mm. 
going to give it the bottle so it'll suck that down. I should have done it beforehand, but I was a little amped up because she was not real happy with me. Hey, baby. You got some pretty colors. Let's see what you are. Oh, you're a little bull calf. Little bull calf. Yeah, no kidding. So I'm back out in the barn. I gave him about an hour um, to get settled out here after I gave the colostrum. And they were just chilling. Mom, I mean, she just got up, but she was laying down and she settled down quite a bit. And baby's got nice perky ears and he was walking around. Um, so I'm happy with that, but now he's just laying down. Um, she's got a really, she's got really, really, really big teeth. Um, so it's gonna be something to watch to make sure that he's able to latch. Um, he'll probably get another bottle either tonight or again tomorrow morning, just based on what I can find tonight. But so far, so good. I mean, I'm just glad that we got him. We saw that he was born, got him in the barn. She's not happy about it, but he's alive. And I really can't ask for a lot more than that. Um, all these calves are really interested in him, but so far, so good. We'll see, you know, how the next few hours go and like how the night goes. Out here, I got out of the house and I looked. Um, see, and I looked at where these bales are behind me, and there was a cow standing there, and I was like, "What next?" Um, and when my dad put this mama cow in the no, when he put the um bale on the back side of the door so she couldn't push it um he opened the gate and he forgot to shut it and i even thought about that i was like i gotta make sure he shuts that gate but then we got everything situated and we're like let's get out of here because i don't want to make her more nervous than she already is and sure enough i come out and the gate's wide open and then there's one of the herefords standing um eating some cornstalk bale and some of the other bales but luckily over here is actually that you can't see her really but you can see her back that girl back there that <laughs> snuck out luckily it was none of these other ones because i don't know the herefords are just easier i feel like to work with than some of our black angus since the first baby dropped today or the first baby after the due date it gets very confusing but anyway since this baby dropped today we're gonna walk out and see what everyone else is looking like um because when there's one, there's more to follow. Go see what we can see out here. See who's acting funny, who's acting different. That cow, that calf today, when I left for work, she was standing against one of the fence lines and I just thought, you know, she just looks, just kind of, I mean, she's off by herself and her tail has looked funny for a couple days. So I'm like, well, I bet she calves today. And sure enough, she did. What's everyone doing out here? Jenny's right in front. She's got a pretty good bag. Everybody's loving that new corn stock. Bale that got spread today. Nobody's laying by themselves. For that I'm thankful, but God, this weather, this is not ideal. Like I said, snowstorm today, snowstorm tomorrow. Super high winds, lots of possible snow, and then a full moon. It's gonna be crazy. Hopefully it's not terrible, but it has the potential to be crazy. We'll, uh, we'll check on everyone a little bit later, make sure everyone's good, and we'll check on everyone through the night, too. Well, Jenny, why are you breathing like that? Mystery's probably... Huh, what's she doing? That's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because there's more calving to come.